guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Can you guys notice anything different today? You can see every little detail and that is because I recently got a new camera. I'm also in the middle of a move. If you guys are following me on Snapchat or Instagram, you may know that. So I'm still playing around with my setup, getting adjusted to my new equipment. And I don't know how this video is gonna turn out. If you guys enjoy the new look, if you can even notice it, I wanna know what your thoughts are. So let me know down below. And yeah, today's video, we're gonna be doing a really quick kind of my go-to makeup when I'm running late. It's not really about the makeup that I do in this video, but more about like the little tips and tricks that I share with you guys on applying differently or using these different type of products that may help you achieve like a full kind of put together face in way less time than you normally would because you're running late and you need to run out the door but you still want to look cute. It's definitely the makeup look that I would do when I'm running errands or whatever and I still want to look like I try. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not yet part of my S Club before we start the video so you don't forget. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we're gonna start out with priming our face because even if you are in a rush, you still wanna prime your face because you want your makeup to sit nicely on your skin and you still want it to be lasting throughout the day. You don't wanna look like a hot, muddy mess by the end of the day. So priming is still essential, but we're gonna do it the quick way. This one's actually called Quick Fix. It's the Urban Decay Hydro Charged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. And the reason I pulled this one out is because it's literally just a spray. So you just spritz your face, done. So it takes like two seconds to apply, which is a lot faster than if you're trying to rub in a primer and it just works the same way. Now I am gonna put on foundation because even when I'm in a rush, I always have to have a nice base on. You can use maybe a BB cream if you want something very quick and lightweight. You can even put on the BB cream with your fingers. That would be super fast too, but I still love my full coverage foundation even when I'm in a rush. So no matter what, I'll maybe cut something else out of the makeup routine, but not my foundation. So today I'm gonna be using the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation from Too Faced. This one is brand and spanking new and it's one of my favorite foundations right now. I've been using it nonstop since they gave it to me on their trip. It's like full coverage, but it doesn't look super full coverage. It's still very natural and it lasts all day, especially in the heat. It lasts through everything. What I will do to blend it out is actually use a brush. I usually use a beauty blender, but if I'm in a rush, a brush goes way faster. If I'm in a rush, a brush, you guys, I'm starting to wrap here. A buffing foundation brush. I usually apply a lot quicker than pouncing a beauty blender all over. So in the move, I literally can't find anything in the boxes that the movers packed up so I don't even have my mirror in front of me like everything's a mess who knows how this video is gonna turn out you guys just gotta bear with me on this one and then next I usually go in with concealer just because I do have really dark circles and if I'm in a rush it might mean I slept in you know so this is gonna help to wake you up so just reach for whatever concealer that you may be using at that time right now I'm using born this way in light medium from Too Faced and a doe foot applicator concealer is really gonna help it'd be really quick because you can just apply the product directly on. And then I'll actually put some on my lids as well because I'm gonna skip out on eyeshadow primer. We're gonna use our concealer as an eyeshadow primer just because it'll save time and we're not gonna do some crazy glam look because we're in a rush. So that's still gonna help conceal the discoloration on my lids, but we're skipping an entire step in the makeup routine and saving some time by just using the concealer. So I'll just blend that all out with my beauty blender. Blunge out. Let's do the other eye. And of course you still want to set your concealer, especially since we're using it on our upper lid. Otherwise it will crease immediately and you do not want that. But we're not gonna bake. We're just gonna quickly dust that powder under there cause ain't nobody got time to let that powder bake that concealer. We gotta be out the door. So I'll just quickly run it all over my lid, tap it under my eye. And then while I'm doing this step, I'll quickly apply also on my T-zone just cause I always get oily there. Now next up we're doing brows. And you guys know I recently tried out the Anastasia brow stencils and it went really well. They really help to create the shape super, super quickly. And it's really foolproof. So if you're in a rush and you still want bomb brows, I would totally recommend trying out something like this. Cause if you're like me and you're not one to skip your brows, having something like this this is gonna cut the time in half, if not more than that. Once you find your correct size, then you just place it on your brow like this and you just start to fill it in. Then you just take it off and you pretty much have your entire brow shape from there. You can just brush it out 
fill it in a little bit more where you need to, but it basically does all the work for you in shaping your brows because that's what usually takes the longest and it's a lot easier to make your brows even with something like that. Or you could just freehand it and if you are freehanding it, you should probably try and use a powder if you're in a rush because that usually for me at least is a little bit quicker to fill in the brows. It might be harder to create a perfectly defined shape, but if you're in a rush and you just want to fill the brows in real quick, use a powder instead of a pencil or you could just try out the stencil. Moving on to the other brow, I'm just flipping the stencil around, placing it exactly where I want it. You get all the brow hairs in there and you match this line up to your arch. And then the easy part, you just fill it in like the other side. Now moving on to the rest of the face, a lot of this is optional depending on how late you are or what you like to do in your makeup routine. But for me, my face routine, even if I'm in a rush, would still include a bunch of the face powders. I would just switch up the products I'm using and the technique that I use to apply it to make sure I'm doing it really fast. So what I like to do if I'm in a hurry is pick a palette that basically has all the face powders I need in it. So this is the Cheek Parade palette from Benefit. It has the Hula Bronzer, a blush, a highlight, all in one, even the brush is in it. So picking up something like this obviously is gonna make it go a lot faster because you have everything all in one palette. You could just dip in it real quick and apply. Or if you want a more affordable option, something like the Maybelline Master Blush Palette. It's got the highlight and the blush here. You know, if you wanna skip out on the bronzer, just grabbing up a quick palette that has those face powders in it will probably speed up your makeup routine a little bit faster to get you at that door quicker. So I'm going in with the Hula Bronzer right there first. Now this is different for me because usually when I have a bit of time, I will go in with a nice cream contour, blend it out, take my time with that, and then go in with the powder afterwards. I'll cut it with some loose powder and let that bake so I get that nice cut contour. But when I'm in a rush, I'll just quickly go over it with some bronzing powder just to warm up my face a little bit and just give my face some color. Since I did go in with that foundation, you don't want your face to be all one color, otherwise you look dead. So even when you're in a rush, honey, you still gotta give some color to your face, which is what I like to do. And using a big brush like this is really gonna help apply the product a lot faster. Sorry, I know you guys are probably cringing that I'm like putting all up in my hair, but if I could find a clip in those packing boxes, I would be putting it in my hair right now. But ugh, everything's all packed up still. And then after bronzer, I'll still go in with a little bit of blush because it's all in the same palette there. Very quick, very easy, and you'll still get a nice kind of completed look. Now going back in on that palette, they also have a highlight. I'm just gonna use my finger because we're trying to be quick with it and this is still gonna do the trick. I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap on my cheekbones. And keep in mind, we've literally been using the same palette for the entire face powders. So it's still been a quick process. So next we're gonna finish up the eyes. Now from here, I'll kind of just decide, depending on how much time I've left, if I wanna do a little bit of eyeshadow, if I just wanna throw on some mascara and head out the door. So if I do have a little bit of time left then I'll just quickly do a little shimmer or something on my lid so we're gonna go in with the Maybelline times Shayla City Mini palette Shayla collaborated with Maybelline on this palette and it is beautiful and it's perfect for this quick little eye look that we're gonna do all I'm gonna do is just grab a flat brush you can use your finger too if you want and get this highlight shade right there highlight the inner corner oops that's way too much look how pigmented that is you guys though Wow anyways this I like to do especially if I'm looking really tired just because it's gonna open up your eye a lot, especially with my tiny eyes. If I'm tired in the morning or whatever, like my eyes look so small. And then I'd also do just a tiny bit on my brown bone while I'm at it. This is just gonna bring light to your eyes and just make you look more awake. So if you have time, then definitely I think it's worth doing. And then even then, sometimes I'll stop right there. I'll just throw on mascara after that. Or you can take it a step further and really kind of glam it up and make you look a little bit more put together by adding one more shade. And that would just be any sort of neutral shimmery shade. So we're going in with this gold color right here. All I'm gonna do is apply that all over the lid and not even being careful with it because it's just a really neutral, light, shimmery shade. So it's like impossible to mess this up. You can even use your finger to apply. I'm just gonna use the same flat brush that I did my inner corner highlight with. I think it really brightens up the eye and it just makes you look like you did a little something something and you didn't wake up super late, you know? So now time for mascara. I don't know about you, but I will never skip out on mascara. Now this is the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, you guys. It's absolutely 
amazing. Because it has such big bristles as well, it's great for when you're in a rush because it's gonna just coat all your lashes really, really quickly. Now, I would probably just throw on some chapstick maybe, but I always keep a lip gloss or something in my purse. And right now is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss in Peach Fuzz. And I've just been applying this literally without even looking usually right on my lips, whether I'm in the car or whatever it may be. And I just think it's so girly and so flirty and so fun. So this is basically the final look. I feel like it's the quickest I could do a full face and just really look like I wasn't in a rush, you know? And it would probably take me about 10 to 15 minutes if I did every single step that I showed you guys today. But obviously that can be cut down if I skip some steps some days. You know what I'm saying? So it depends on how late you are. You can just adjust this makeup look for you. I tried to focus mostly on the different application techniques that I would normally do and the different types of products that I would use to accommodate me trying to be extra quick with it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed those little tips before you go make sure you check out my latest video if you missed it click the box down below to watch it and if you watch this entire video and you're not yet part of the s club all you have to do is click my face in the corner of the screen and you will be subscribed i will see you in my next video thank you guys so much for watching bye Mwah.